What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the maintenance series. So today we're gonna to be swapping out the fluid on our differential front and rear, as well as the transfer case. So my truck's a little overdue for this service, so I'm sure you'll see that in the pan. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go over everything we're gonna to need to get this done. So first thing you're gonna need is a torque wrench. You also need a ratchet of some sorts, a 24 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter hex socket and a pair of scissors. Make sure you have a drain pan. And of course you're gonna need all of your new oil. I went for seven quarts of this Valvoline Full Synthetic 75W Tech 90, which should be just enough if you don't spill anything. You're gonna need five crush washers and one gasket, which I got from Toyota. And some things which are nice to have, some WD-40 gloves and a rack. Now starting off with our rear differential here, which I would say is the easiest out of all three. I went ahead and put some WD-40 on the bolts to help loosen them up. Always try to loosen your fill bolt to make sure it's not seized, because if you drain all your oil and you can't fill it up, you'll be out of luck. Next, get your pan ready. We're gonna go ahead and break the drain plug. Once you get it flowing, go ahead and loosen up the fill bolt to get that vacuum going. As you can see, the oil isn't too bad here, but as we move forward to the front of the truck, it gets a little worse. There is a little sludge on the bolt here, which is normal, just as long as there's no metal shavings. Before we fill it back up, we're going to take one of our new crush washers, we're going to put it on the drain bolt, and we're going to tighten it back up. Once you get your drain plug all tightened up, you're going to go ahead and grab your new gear oil and open it up with your pair of scissors and you're just going to start filling your differential back up and it's going to take four quarts to fill. The only reason I went with this brand of oil was because the bags it comes in, it makes it a super easy job, especially working in these tight spaces and it only gets tighter as you move forward on the vehicle. A lot of people will use plastic tubing with like a hand pump which is also fine, it just takes forever. So yeah, just 10 out of 10, recommend getting these bags. I pretty much just let gravity do its thing here. I try not to squeeze that much because I don't want to spill anything and have to buy more. Now that we have our rear diff all filled up, we're gonna take our fill bolt with our new crush washer and tighten it back up. Next, make sure you get these bolts to torque spec, which are both 36 foot pounds. Moving on to our transfer case, you'll find the drain and fill plug pretty easy. They're the only 24 millimeter bolts here, and we're going to repeat the process of checking the fill bolt before we move on to draining the oil. As you'll see as we drain this one, it is a little darker than the rear, but still nothing to be concerned about. Again, once this is done draining, we're gonna go ahead and put a new crush washer on the bolt and just tighten it back up.
Now that you got your drain plug back on, you're just going to rinse and repeat and do the same thing and fill it up. It should take about 1.1 quarts of oil. Once it's filled up, grab a new crush washer, put it on your full bolt, and tighten it back up. For these torque specs, they're a little lighter, they're both going to be 27 foot pounds. Moving up to the front diff to the most challenging part, you're going to access the bolts from the front driver side. They're going to be here and here, and this is where you're going to use your 10 millimeter hex socket. Again, we're going to start off by checking the top bolt before we start draining the oil. Now remember earlier how I was saying your oil is going to get worse as you go forward on the vehicle? Check this out. Nah, gross. Look at that dookie water. Nasty. So yeah, it was very sludgy and nasty. Uh, these drain bolts have magnets on them, so you're able to see if there's any metal shavings within your diff. And from what I saw, there wasn't any, so that's good. It just definitely needed a change. Once it's all drained, you can finally see where we need that one special gasket from Toyota that she'll pop on the bolt before you tighten it back up. For the front diff, you only need about one and a half quarts to fill. Now this filling process is the hardest when it comes to workable space, so what I do here is I squeeze about half the bag in from the side like this um, before I'm able to maneuver it up so the gravity can do the rest. As you can see here, it starts to overflow, which is completely fine. Uh, just stop and let it drain out from the fill port. And once it stops, you're good to go and put a new crush washer on your bolt and tighten it back up. Your torque specs for the front diff are the only ones that are different from each other, your drain plug being 48 foot-pounds and your fill plug being 29 foot -pounds. Now that everything's all done, let's go ahead and do a cost comparison, whether doing this yourself or going to the dealership would be a better fit for you.
All right, well, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I hope you found this um, educational or whatever you wanted to get out of it from watching it. Uh, appreciate you sticking around this long, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, okay, okay.